Good afternoon. Today is Saturday, November 23rd, 2019, and it is about 12, 10, 12, 11 p.m. Uh, local time here in Pasadena, California, and here's the update for uh, this past week. Uh, Saudi Aramco is putting up a $1.7 trillion IPO, which I believe is the largest in history. Uh, regarding the California economy, uh, the states are supposed to be laboratories of democracy. So uh, since California is the number one economy in the country, number five in the world, has had surpluses since 2011, uh, $3 trillion economy, $76,000 GDP for every man, woman, and child. I would suggest that rather than throwing stones, maybe there's some lessons uh, to be learned from this. I don't think this uh, prosperity is coming from the palm trees. Um, just a comment there. It's a pretty astounding number, $76,000 GDP for every man, woman, and child. is pretty astounding. Uh, China is taking an increasingly aggressive stance against cryptocurrencies. Um, very aggressive stance, actually, and it seems to be driving the price down quite a bit. Uh, my position on this is, is well uh, documented. They've even made some of the same comments about blockchain. Every time a blockchain story comes out, people uh, conflate that with crypto and Bitcoin and then try to drive the markets up and usually time it on the weekend so that all the moms and pops coming home from work think they missed out on something, run down to the local convenience store and lose some more money. Um, it's really a pretty pathetic situation. I, uh, I'm surprised that any development whatsoever in the financial community is taking place um, in this sector because it's just constant conflict and uh, it just there's no useful purpose being served here. That's the bottom line. Uh, blockchain is useful, uh, but that's a different matter. Uh, we received notice that the secured by blockchain that's our second blockchain related trademark. It was filed about two years ago, very early 2018. Um, is going to proceed to publication for opposition, which is the last step before approval. We've never had any uh, trademarks uh, fail in this process, so I expect this will go all the way through, which gives us two uh, blockchain trademarks and a 100% success rate on all of our trademark filings. So far we have 24 of them and they've all been granted. Robinhood CEO uh, made a comment I found in a news report saying they want to democratize the financial system. Uh, that's some language that I can document uh, us talking about more than a decade ago. So I'm glad to see everybody's catching on here. Uh, Google Grants, I'm going to get back into that. Um, that is, is a way for us to uh, send traffic to the sports share side and bring in, bring in outside um, you know, donors and such. Uh, it's a $10,000 a month budget, uh, use it or lose it kind of thing, and it's it's a bit difficult to manage. We've talked about that on prior calls. Uh, it's been it was pushed put on pause because it was uh, one of Jason's tasks, and I haven't had a chance or the ability to take it back up again. But I'm going to take it back up again now and see if I can't work through uh, what it's going to take to get that to work because obviously that would bring in. Uh, new traders and, and new uh, program income to sustain us through through our transition here and all the you know fund all the projects that we have going but it's something that isn't going to happen immediately it's going to take some testing and um, so but I am going to de dedicate time to that so I just want all of our stakeholders to hear that uh, you know I'm not just sitting going to sit here do nothing in terms of trying to bring in outside funding um, I do think this 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 is probably the quickest route to uh, helping you know bring in additional funds, but it is is by no means an easy thing to do. It will require some adjustment to the sports share site, and it will also require a lot of investment of time and and getting the numbers up to the point where uh, the program stays active. Because the problem we had in the past is that it would continually fail. So anyway, um, that's uh, some light on the horizon, some light at the end of the tunnel in terms of uh, other sources of funds that uh, I, is, there's not a lot of question marks in terms of whether or not we can have access to it. We've had a Google, Google Ad Grants account before. The issue is making sure that it's formatted in such a way, the sports share site is formatted in such a way that it will actually convert uh, to, to new donors and new program income. So 
uh, please stick with me a bit longer, I, you know, in terms of keeping us going and know that just like all along the track here for the better part of the last 20 years that we've had to make adjustments and make adjustments. But um, this is the quickest turnaround in terms of bringing in new, new, new funding. Uh, we had a, a call with the uh, CPA last week and we're still working through a, a lot of those details in terms of the deliverables and what it's going to take to put all that package together and finish it up. It is a long job. We started it about a year ago, uh, but it is, it is, uh, we're still working on it. We, we had a lot of communication back and forth this week with the staff internally. And um, as soon as I have something more to report, I'll let you know, of course, uh, this is extremely important. It's important for the SEC matter. It's important for full disclosure to, uh, to our stakeholders. So um, it is a top priority. Today, we're going to be filing uh, a challenge to the Leon, Seth Leon default case. Um, incredibly, after 10 years, you uh, have, they have to renew the judgment. And there is case law uh, regarding defaults. Uh, being rejected on renewal, which is what this was. It was a default. I was aggressively prevented from defending myself. Uh, in fact, it's very clear in the court record, uh, if anybody bothers to look, that uh, in, the, in the documents you can see that there was never any sort of trial on the, on the facts. So it was, it was uh, one side's claims and no defense. But um, we're going we're gonna to put up a challenge to that because you can at 10 years. So, uh, Mr. Leon, you're going to be getting something in the mail here pretty soon, and uh, we're going to put an end to this injustice that you perpetrated on me and uh, on our stakeholders and basically besmirch the reputation of business. It's time for that to be turned around, and um, so that's what we're going to be working on. And so you'll be getting a service in the mail pretty soon next week. Uh, I'm looking at um, a putting together a conference, trader conference discussion kind of thing, maybe video conference or live chat or something along those lines for what I'll be calling, I guess, loosely termed disaffected traders. Uh, anybody that doesn't seem to want to actually put their, uh, put anything constructive out there, but just gripe and grumble and all that. Um, I'm not afraid of having a face-to-face -face conversation or direct discussion with any of you, but there will be one uh, strict rule, actually two strict rules. One, you cannot be anonymous. I will not allow that. Um, that only cowards do that. Um, if you have something to say, then you sign your name to it. Otherwise, I don't want to hear it. And uh, number two, you must maintain uh, decency. No, unlike what has been going on, no hate speech, no slander, no making up stories. None of that. It will not be tolerated. If that's something that anybody's interested in, um, in me putting together, all you have to do is drop a line to uh, an email to help at ASM free. Again, help at ASM free. I'll see what kind of interest there is. And if any of, uh, you know, the folks out there that are just angry or whatever at the situation or why is it taking so long or it doesn't really matter, whatever your complaint is, uh, provided you will reveal yourself and you will behave, then we'll have a civil conversation about those things. Um, I don't expect to see much response on this because there doesn't seem to be any seeking of facts or um, any attempt to make good on this. It frankly surprises me um, that some people are doing what they're doing because you're act acting against your own interest. By the way, there are a couple of names there, very noisy names, that seem to be uh, indicating their real name. If that is their real name, uh, you don't have any, you don't have a stake in this company. So I don't know what you're doing. Um, but you're going to create liability for yourself if you're causing problems. If you are, you know, there are laws against slander and there are laws against um, maliciously causing trouble. So um, anyway, I'll just leave that there. If there's any interest in having a, uh, a an adult discussion, I'd be happy to put it together. Those are the two rules. Uh, a, you cannot be anonymous. That's ridiculous. Um, don't be a coward. You got something to say? Show your face. Number two, uh, it will be civil. It will be it will be decent. It will be conversation between adults, or it won't happen. Uh, I sent out a survey on how many uh, people in our, our trader base are gamblers. I'm a bit surprised by this. Uh, There's about 315 people reporting so far. It's a 60/40 split. 60% uh, say they do. 40% say they don't. Very interesting. Um, 
So uh, New York City is everything uh, in front of me right now, putting together the presentation materials, including a short video uh, is, is job number one. It's uh, two weeks from today that I will be leaving for New York. Um, Alper will be joining me, which I think is really good because he is from the financial services industry. You know, he's a suit and tie guy, <laughs> all around good guy, been around from the very beginning and tell the story, you know, from his view, he's seen it. Um, and, you know, he's more what, what I would say the investor types and people that are serious. And there, there are definitely very, very serious financial industry people in, in, in this conference for sure, being in New York because I met them last year. So Alpha will be there. Uh, I, you know, I'm more the crazy inventor in the garage. And, you know, we've talked about this many times, you know, passing the baton to Alper and Alper is the, is the person that the person profile, you know, that everybody's going to want to see to trust this project in this market. So very, very good uh, news that he'll be joining me. I think that's extremely powerful stuff for us. Um, if you want to receive these email, I mean, the, spam protection systems and all the filters and I mean it's really a lot to keep up with to try to get the mail through uh, I've gotten better at it I've found some tools that that will that make it easier or you know to show us what we're doing wrong so the messages get through but if you you know because I do the reason I'm mentioning this is not to cram messages down people's throats but I get many um, complaints about not receiving emails that that you want to receive so Please uh, whitelist us. In you know when you get an email from us, they they, they come from a handful of addresses. Um, click not spam, or if it's in Microsoft uh, inbox, use focused inbox. All those priority inbox, wh wherever you get your main email, make sure that you select that so that the spam filters and all the filters all the way through will propagate that, and then then you won't you'll get through the messages will get through. So that's very important. Um, finally, a little bit more of the origin story. Uh, when we submitted the, so the 501c3 application was filed in, uh, in 2012, I think it was 2011, actually, I think, 11 or 12. And the uh, ASM free application submission to the App Store was in uh, 2014. So on the very same day, literally, I went to the mailbox and took the mail out of the mailbox. And when I was sitting in the car opening the mail, one of the letters was from IRS exempt organizations, which is what deals with 501c3s. And it, and it was our determination letter um, that said we were a fully approved 501c3 public charity. Within minutes of that, I got a uh, text message from ACE. I was in Texas. I had not moved here. I was traveling back and forth once a month uh, for like a week. I did that for a year, basically the year 2014. And I, so I wasn't here all the time. I was in Texas and he texted me that the uh, app had been approved by Apple and was in the App Store, literally when I was holding the, the termination letter. Um, that The reason that's incredible is that those two timelines converged, not only on the same day, but, you know, I, I mean literally when I was opening the mail <laughs> from uh, ACE's submission. I think it took about a month or something. It, it took a little while, a couple weeks at least, um, from submission to approval. But the timeline from the 501c3 to approval was years, like three years. So those two things converged on the very same day. I think that's, uh, I think that's a bit uh, hard to explain. So um, that's all I've got. Uh, I have the uh, budget requirements for Monday, posting these things every week. We are keeping up um, with everything, just barely, but we're keeping up. And that's all I've ever asked for is that we just keep up and, and keep moving. So um, please do participate uh, where you can. Uh, there is a lot of people on this list. Uh, it doesn't take much from, from you know, a handful of you just, you know, to, to say, okay, you know, I, I do want to see this through um, to, make all, to make a difference. I mean, uh, it doesn't take a lot. You know, we are, uh, we're used to, I mean, I, I've had lots of resources at times and I've had very little resources at times and I've always had to adjust according to what we have. So, the, you know, I'm, I'm used to taking a dollar and spreading it as, as thinly as I can. 
So that's all for this Saturday. I'll speak with you again um, next weekend uh, on Saturday. Bye now.